All right, guys, so I'm gonna get started with the haul so I don't just blab on. I went to two stores. I went to Target and to Discovery Clothing. One of the things that I got at Discovery was this beautiful crop top. Can you see that? And it has a tank in the middle with just a lace polka dot detail. So I thought this was really cool. This is the second top that I got at Discovery and it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's strapless and then it just has a flowy bottom, beautifully tight at the waist and in the back. You tie it and it just has a cutout. I got this really strong green. It's like an emerald green, I wanna say. I don't know but it has these gorgeous green rhinestones and these silver gems. It would go so perfectly, right? Bam. And the high-waisted jeans that I got like a while ago, they have rips in them and sometimes I don't like how it looks with some of my shirts and I've been liking high-waisted pants. So I got this pair of non-ripped acid washed high waisted jeans Kaloa jeans denim collection one gorgeous skirt that my boyfriend chose out for me is this charcoal pleated skater skirt and it was only seven dollars it was in the clearance and i told him i was looking for skater skirts right i was looking for skater skirts for the longest and he just brought a really good idea and said I could wear like a really bright neon spring um, top with this. So it's really, really cute. So of course when you're waiting in line, you seriously can't resist looking where all the little items are at, you know, waiting in line and stuff. So I turned and I saw e.l.f. products. And what I picked up was a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush because I actually heard a lot of good things about it and I've been wanting a very cheap one. I think this did a really good job for 99 cents. So if you don't want to spend too much on a eyeshadow brush, I would definitely recommend that one. This one is the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder by e.l.f. and it's Saint Lucia. It comes with a really nice mirror at the bottom and your contouring blush and your bronzing powder. Now for Target, you know how I was talking about the Copper Chic um, Maybelline Eye Studio and how I loved it. Did I say I use it every day? But I did use it every day. I was just falling in love with these. I literally just ditched my e.l.f. eyeshadows. Oh. But at Target, I saw this, what is it called? green with envy on sale for $2.48 and it's five dollars these colors are seriously amazing i am wearing them like right now for shoes i am so horrible with my feet that i cannot wear heels most of the time i was gonna get dr shoals flats but they're like sixty dollars yeah i'm gonna put a pause on that because they're really too they're too expensive, so. I got these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous flats. I really wish that they did not have these bows because they bother me so, not so much, but they bother me a little bit. I just wanted them to be without it and they would just look great, but they're there. I seriously have been wanting a candle, just to have a candle, not to have it in the background. No offense to anybody that does because it looks gorgeous, but just to make my room smell great, just because to make my room look cute. I got my trash bag back there, so I think I'm good on decoration. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Why is it so quiet? My mom showed me this really cute candle that she thought I should buy, and I smelled it, and it smells delicious. Cotton candy, yum. The last product I did not buy for myself. I was spoiled. I was actually really excited because they had testers on the side and I was testing out these lipsticks. It's Napoleon 
Perdis. 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 Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. I don't want to say it wrong. This is the packaging. Gorgeous. And then it has the cute little information back here. Little palm trees looking things. Oh my god, what I love about this is, whoops, like I said, the packaging, white and black, matches perfectly with my room, and the fact that they have the color on the cap, so it's not so hard to find with all your other lipsticks. Gorgeous. And this one's San Francisco, and it's just a moisturizing nude. Let's see if I can get a swatch for you guys. Can you see that? You know how most balms and moisturizers really don't get a good color payoff? Like it's not really pigmented. That's what I like about this lipstick is that I tried it on and it still gave me that nude color, not just like a chapstick feel. Now my lips, I need some advice, but like my lips are so chapped and I've been scrubbing them with like a homemade uh, lip scrub and everything. I just can't. I don't know if I should try Lush or what, but I need help on that. I have to exchange these for another size because they didn't fit me. They were too big, but my boyfriend bought me these cute white tennis shoes because I needed just some casual dressy-ish um, tennis shoes. That match with my stuff because all I have is combat boots black combat boots and running shoes that's not cute in the mail I got a shirt from my uncle and it's the best shirt ever he's jealous it's Loki now for us Avengers nerds this is like the biggest bestest thing that you can ever have that's pretty much it for my haul. Um, a little update on the giveaway. I am going to keep it going for a little bit longer only because I just wanted more people to get into it just so it can be a little bit more fair. So if you can, just share that giveaway video on Twitter, on Instagram, on anywhere. Um, and I'll leave the link below so you know that. And I'll leave all the prices of the items and where I got them and the name of the products.